Well, guys, look over there. This is Gernard Fish. The behavior of Gernard Fish is interesting. They often use their pectoral fins to feel around the seabed for food such as crabs, clams, and shrimp. Additionally, they can change the color of their bodies to adapt to their surroundings, such as becoming brighter when threatened or in bright environments. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. Spotted Eagle Ray can communicate in various ways, primarily through vocalizations, body movements, and facial expressions. They often use sounds like growls, grunts, or other vocalizations to convey messages to other leopards. Additionally, they utilize body language such as tail movements and body positions to communicate. There is a clownfish. Clownfish often reside near sea anemones. They are protected by the anemone's venomous tentacles, which do not affect them because they have a special mucus layer that shields them from the anemone's sting. If threatened, clownfish can also jump into crevices in the coral reef to hide from predators. Clownfish often live in small groups, providing additional protection as predators tend to have difficulty singling out one target among many fish. This is a crayfish. Coral shrimp have several defense mechanisms to evade predators, such as changing body color, the ability to hide in coral crevices or rocks, and the capability to swim swiftly to escape. Some species also have the ability to quickly wriggle free from a predator's grasp. This is blue whale. Blue whales, Balanoptera musculus, typically live socially in groups ranging from small to large. They are often found swimming alongside several other individuals, although they can also be encountered alone at times. Blue whale groups can consist of a few to several dozen individuals. This helps them in foraging for food and protecting themselves from predators. This is Gulper Eel. Male gulper eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. There is crab! Crabs usually live in aquatic environments, especially in the sea or freshwater bodies. They generally don't live alone, but rather in groups or larger populations. However, some crab species can live alone in aquariums or suitable artificial habitats. Additionally, crabs are known to exhibit various social behaviors and interactions within their populations. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is a blue spotted ray. Having a beautiful color that can catch people off guard when they see it, this blue spotted ray apparently has a secret weapon. It has two large and medium sized spines at the end of its tail. These thorns can cause a number of dangers if they come into contact with humans. As a self-defense mechanism, the sting caused by these thorns can be very excruciating. This is Moth Bass. Grouper, Epinephalus lanceolatus, can be dangerous if you are near them in their natural environment, especially if you are not careful. They have large and powerful mouths with sharp teeth and can attack if they feel threatened or disturbed. So, it is important to be cautious if you are swimming or diving in their natural habitat. Wow, this is Starfish. Starfish typically move by using their tentacles or arms that adhere to the seabed. They can also move by contracting and expanding their bodies or by utilizing the water currents around them. Some types of starfish can also propel themselves using their water vascular system called the ambulacral system. This is box fish. Box fish are recognized by their box-shaped bodies and honeycomb patterns on their skin. Boxfish have incredible defense mechanisms to ward off predators. 
They release a toxin called ostracitoxin through their skin, which can be toxic to anything around it. This poison can be very dangerous for humans because it can destroy red blood cells. This is a garfish! Alligator and garfish eggs are generally very poisonous. It will be very dangerous if you eat this fish. The poison in garfish eggs is a self-defense mechanism so that the eggs are not eaten by predators, such as crustaceans. This was thought to be one of the reasons why garfish have been able to survive until now since hundreds of millions of years ago. There is lobster. The large claws of a lobster are used to grasp and crush food. Lobsters are predatory animals that use their claws to capture and break down prey such as fish, shellfish, or small mollusks. The claws also serve as a defensive tool. Lobsters can use their claws to protect themselves from predators or other threats by tightly closing them. There is an octopus. Octopuses typically hunt for food at night. They use their long, flexible arms to search for prey on the ocean floor, including crabs, shrimp, fish, and other small mollusks. Octopuses also employ camouflage and their ability to climb to stealthily approach prey before swiftly capturing it with their strong beaks. This is squid. Squid are intelligent sea creatures. They have large and complex brains, even comparable to those of whales. The squid's ability to learn and adapt also impressed researchers. They are capable of completing complex tasks and even exhibit behavior that indicates extraordinary intelligence. This is a moray eel. Moray eels are known for their unique behavior. They typically lurk in tunnels or crevices, waiting for their prey, and use swift movements to attack when prey approaches. Moray eels are also famous for constantly opening and closing their mouths, often misinterpreted as aggression, whereas it's just their way of circulating water through their gills to breathe. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! This is a hermit crab! Hermit crab have antennas that they use to detect chemical changes in the water, such as pheromones. This helps them communicate with other members of their species for mating purposes or territory marking. Some snail species use physical touch to communicate, such as tapping or touching other members of the species to show interest or trigger a social response. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male pufferfish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. This is a Dacophotiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is dolphin. Dolphins generally live in social groups called pods. They rarely live alone because they prefer social interaction with other dolphins. Living in a group provides them with protection, assistance in finding food, and opportunities to communicate and socialize. However, in some cases, dolphins can live alone if separated from their group, although this is uncommon and can cause stress to the animal. This is Ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction, to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. Thank you for watching guys.